Vitor Roque, from helping Brazil win the U20 championship to making his first team debut aged just 17. This is the rise of Vitor Roque. Born in Temptao, Brazil on February 28, 2005, a young Vitor's journey began in the streets of Brazil playing football with his friends. But after a local scout stumbled upon him, he was invited for a trial at his local club, America MG. And just a couple weeks later, he was in the youth setup playing for the U17s. Fast forward a couple of years and he moves to Cruzeiro in search for a bigger challenge. But after the move, his former club America MG actually sued Cruzeiro for not paying them anything for their development of the player. And so, after the court hearing, both clubs agreed on sharing his economic rights, with Cruzeiro retaining 65% and America keeping the other 35%. This basically meant that if Cruzeiro were to sell Roque in the future, they would only make 65% of the sale, with the other 35 going to America. But little did they know that their Vitor Roque stocks were about to go to the moon, bringing us to the 21-22 season, where Vitor would have his breakout campaign, making his professional debut for Cruzeiro on October 2021. Keep in mind he was only 17 years old at the time. Despite not scoring on his debut, Vitor's talent was clear as day. Fast, strong, and technical, he was everything you could want in a young forward. But above all, he had the classic Brazilian flair. The ball just seemed to be stuck to his feet. No matter what you tried, you just weren't getting it off him. And so, after staying consistent, he scored his first goal on the 20th of February in a 2-2 draw against Villanova, showcasing his elite finishing ability. Three days later, in a fierce battle in the Copa do Brasil, Roque took the field scoring not just one, but two incredible goals propelling his team to an astonishing 5-0 victory. It was a performance that left spectators in awe and cemented Roque's reputation in the Brazilian league. He was a force to be reckoned with. And so, Vitor ended the campaign with 6 goals and 1 assist in 11. Not too bad for a debut season if you ask me. This alerted all the big Brazilian teams, with Palmeiras, Santos, and Atletico Paranis all sniffing around. And after just playing one year for Cruzeiro, Roque would join Atletico in a deal worth £4 million, becoming the most expensive signing in the club's history. And 4 days after the deal was sealed, the stage was set for Vitor's debut. With anticipation in the air as he stepped onto the ground, the roar of the crowd echoed in his ears. Coming on as a sub in the late stages of the game, despite eventually losing 1-0 that day, Vitor's debut showed glimpses of his immense potential. And honestly, just the energy he brought onto the field was immense, leaving fans and pundits alike begging for more. But it didn't take long for him to find the net. On May 29th, Vitor would score his debut goal for Atletico, unleashing his inner R9 with a thunderous strike propelling them to a 1-0 victory. But this was just the beginning of Vitor's goal scoring run. And just a couple weeks later on August 7th, he took his game to another level. Vitor orchestrated a masterclass performance, netting not just one but two goals against the mighty Atletico Mineiro, propelling Padanese to a thrilling 3-2 away victory. 2002 World Cup winning coach Luis Felipe praised Vitor saying, He has great room for improvement. He has already experienced things where he was the main piece. He's a very focused, well-balanced boy who listens a lot to what we say. And Vitor's goal scoring run was nothing short of astonishing. He rattled the net a total of 13 times leaving opposition defenders trebling in fear. Six of those goals came during his time with Cruzeiro showcasing his versatility and impact on the field. But it was Atletico where he would unleash his full potential smashing 7 goals with ease. And thus this was the end of the season. Roque's tally stood strong, having scored 7 as well as assisting 3 times. But unlike Brazil, Vitor didn't have the mainstream attention. That was until the South American U20 Championship. After his impressive performances for his club, he was invited to the U20 South American Tournament to represent Brazil. And this was where he would take off. Starting the campaign off against Peru, scoring twice and even providing an assist in a 3-0 win. This was only just the beginning. In the next game against Argentina, he would find the back of the net once again, helping Brazil win the game 3-1. But Roque picked up a small injury in his last game, so he didn't play in the next game versus Colombia and only played 28 minutes against Paraguay. Bringing us to the game against Ecuador, Roque still wasn't fully healed, but seeing that the score was tied at halftime, he came off the bench to score an amazing brace helping Brazil win the game 3-1. He ended the tournament with 6 goals and 1 assist in 8 games, helping Brazil win it all. And even sharing the title for top goal scorer with Chelsea's Andre Santos. At this point in his career, 
Vitor was attracting interest from all of Europe's biggest clubs, with the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid, and even PSG being linked. But on July 12, 2023, the mighty Barcelona would secure the youngster's signature, in a deal worth a reported 50 million. With Vitor only being 18 currently, this kid has the potential to reach the top level. After watching compilations of this kid for one to two hours, I can promise you that he's a real deal. His play kind of reminds me of Gabriel Jesus, but with elite finishing. Every time he gets the ball, he doesn't waste it. Always looking forward, always looking for that right pass. And like I said before, with the Brazilian flair that he has, he's able to just body people off the ball. With Lewandowski getting older and older, he could come in and potentially start right off the bat for Barcelona. His agent even came out and said that there was a last minute bid to join the Premier League, but it was rejected due to Vitor's love for Barcelona. I'm telling you guys, this kid is the real deal. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which player you guys want to see down below. Take care and peace.